Hello friend, uh, and thank you for watching my uh, YouTube channel, uh, Alpha Sky Tech. Uh, today I'm uh, bringing you a video about uh, how to set up uh, an unattended access on uh, um, any desk uh, software. So uh, basically uh, I need to explain to you what does the AnyDesk uh, do. AnyDesk, as it shows here, provide uh, provide you uh, with the uh, intuitive uh, and uh, user-friendly remote desktop software that enables you to access your devices anywhere anytime uh, whether you're uh, working remotely uh, your uh, way and needs to uh, access files uh, your uh, home computer um, uh, or uh, you're helping uh, you're helping out a friend solve uh, an IT issue and all uh, it takes a, a few simple clicks. So um, pretty much is, it's uh, it's very um, useful and I found it, uh, this is a free and also free to try, matter of fact. So you can purchase that and uh, you know, I've, I've uh, tried it and it's very uh, practical, more than an RDP and more than a team viewer. And I see it, you know, is very convenient uh, for you to utilize if you want to remote to uh, help a friend or you want to remote to your own PC and such. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, basically, uh, uh, the app here, um, uh, you know, I did download it and it's located uh, when you go and type uh, any desk on Google. It's going to come up. And then simply click on download. Sometimes it takes time. It depends on your uh, uh, network or uh, internet bandwidth. It takes time and it's going to download the file, which I did. It's going to put it on a download folder and it's right here. So uh, simply going to right click on it. That's what I do always. And uh, um, basically uh, run it uh, as an administrator. Then you're going to uh, say yes to AC. And then, as you can see here, uh, you have this option: install any desk on your on this uh, device. Gonna click that, and uh, basically gonna accept everything as is and shown. And then, uh, and um, also, um, you're gonna pretty pretty much you can uh, read in here. And also, it's an option so you can click allow connection to. You know, it says here they're gonna collect some, which I don't. Um, I don't feel comfortable doing so, so uh, I'll leave it unchecked and everything else is on. So you can accept and install. And it's going to put it here for you. And also, uh, it has an, an uh, um, extra software that uh, usually uh, it will uh, come up and pop up uh, for you. It's, uh, I believe it's for uh, printer. And then supposedly it should have should have been here right now, but it did not. Sometimes it's gonna give you an option to um, install a printer, and um, you know sometimes uh, it don't. So uh, basically you can close that, and uh, you can double click on it, and it's gonna open. As you can see, you can double click here on the desktop. It's gonna open, and then you're gonna go to. Uh, settings uh, in here or set password you can do that from here or either you can uh, go to uh, settings and you do that uh, from there so when you double click on it you can click on the settings and then access and then unlock the area where it says unlock and then you can um, you can set uh, password here that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay. I think that we've used this one before. All right. And before, also, I want to show you when you put the password, you're going to leave it to uh, unattended access, actually. So 
uh, and then you click apply after you put your password. So everything else uh, will be left as is. We're gonna have a connection, so we're gonna leave it uh, detect the proxy and TLM and everything else is gonna be um, the same. Uh, everything else, uh, you're gonna leave it as is. You're gonna go ahead and uh, close everything. So this is the computer, folks, that um, I have installed it and set up a password on it. This is like a home computer, uh, a Frank computer or such. And uh, also uh, I have uh, uh, another computer to demonstrate to you. And I'm gonna um, go ahead and uh, install. I did, matter of fact, uh, download the software. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install the software here. And I'm gonna click here as always. You know, I don't want like to. I don't like to check this in here. It's up to you, whatever you you prefer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, um, accept and uh, install. And it did install. Basically, when you double click on it, it's going to come up to this. This is the computer. Um, it's going to you provide the support. You're the support person in here. And this is the uh, client computer. So one more thing on a client computer. Let me make, maximize that. After you install it, um, what you need to do is, it's recommended though, uh, you're going to go ahead and uh, click on Run. And probably I have it here. You're going to add it to the startup menu, actually. Shell, to the main things of this computer. You know, the person who is receiving the help. So you're going to click OK. And as you can see, um, I did not remove this from this area. And I did now. Let me uh, do this. What do you need to do here? You're going to right-click on it and then copy. And then you're going to paste it in here folks there you go so it's going to be paste in here and i'm going to go ahead and uh, after i did uh, add it to the shell what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and reboot uh, the um, client's computer i'm going to go ahead and reboot it and it's a hyper v I have VMs uh, installed on my computer laptop and um, there you go it's a Windows 11 I'm gonna go ahead and log in there we go and when you um, when you log into those to the um, your client computer when when the clients log in, as you can see um, definitely is going to pop up and after everything loaded the um, any desk because again remember we put it on the shell so it's going to come up automatically by default in here um, there we go and this is again this is the your client and you're gonna go ahead and double click in here. We, oh and it's gonna open up and you're gonna go ahead and try to provide you in here as support for this person in here. Okay. All right. Go, we're gonna go ahead and put the address. There we go. All right, so uh, now um, uh, any desk password or user confirmation required that remember that the one we put when we created it in here, and that's what I'm going to add here. Uh, 
then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And automatically, as you can see, folks, you are on this computer. You are giving support to this computer. So if I minimize this, this is Windows 11 in here. So um, this is what I have in a, in a nutshell. And as you can see, this is um, a, a software I consider is very practical. I've seen it. Um, uh, it does work great if you uh, especially you want to help a friend, uh, provide support to a friend, uh, or you want to log into your computer and uh, you want to um, use a quick uh, way to access your computer. If you're away, you travel somewhere, so um, it's it's very good actually, um, and uh, that can be uh, utilized to uh, to uh, help you out, uh, you know, um, to get to get whatever you would like to to have. So uh, that's all what I have, uh, folks. Uh, if you um, if you uh, enjoyed uh, watching this video, uh, uh, okay, you can close the sessions. You're out. If you if you'd like to if you enjoyed lot watching this video, I, um, uh, I appreciate your uh, like and subscribe and. Um, and as always, I will uh, see you in uh, some other uh, uh, videos. Uh, also, if you have comments or questions, please add them below in the comment and the question section. Thank you and have a great day.